today we're going to create um, this network, um, which mostly centers around remapping uh, noise texture to gradients. And it's really simple, but looks really nice. And so yeah, let's let's go. As I said, the remap node is um, is like mostly the center of it all. Uh, it's usually used for something quite differently. If you look at the um, uh, operator snippets, it's something I often um, recommend. You can see it's mostly used for mapping UVs and stuff. Um, but today we're going to basically abuse it and see what happens. First off, let's create a ramp. Um, we're gonna make it uh, is in, is out, so we have a nice gradient and also set the gradient to the middle. Also very important, we need to give it a lots of um, data, color data to work with. Otherwise, we're going to get um, stripes within, or like uh, artifacts within the image. Next up, we are going to create um, a circle, um, which we're only going to give the same resolution as we give the ramp. Also, uh, the ramp, we can leave this at a quite low resolution because um, the Luma um, remapping, which we will um, create next, is quite heavy on your GPU. And if you have a good one, you can crank up the resolution, but um, it's, uh, it's quite a, quite a, quite heavy in a computer, so use it with um, discretion. So yeah, the effect, if we turn on the white filter to 100, um, as you can see, uh, blurs only specific, um, specific places on the Luma blur. And we can animate this by setting this to an expression namely apps times, apps time dot seconds, point one. Yeah, great. Um, and next up, we'll need to do a, a ramp. And compose it composite it together with our displaced or blurred circle. All right, multiply is pretty boring, but I found nice results with um, exclude. Yeah, also I encourage you to play around with, with them, the other options, uh, there are quite a few nice results you can get. I also like negate a lot, but um, we'll need a higher resolution for negate. So I'm going to keep it. Maybe we go we go over it later, but right now I don't want to destroy my, my computer. Um, okay, it's not that, it's not that hard, but it's, it's a pretty heavy effect. Okay, next up, we are going to pipe it into the remap and Next, we'll need the noise. Yes, the noise. And um, in here, we can set it to uh, Perl and 3D. Usually gives me nice results. I sort of feel like set the period way higher than usually. And um, as you can see, you're already getting some of the desired effect. Um, Exactly, next up, right, we are going to sort of higher, set a higher resolution to a noise uh, operator. And um, next up on our remap, we have to mirror it so we don't have any edges where you can see the, the transparency, the alpha channel. 
All right, next up, also pretty important to really sell the nice moving is illusion is apps times dot second as well. And also again, multiply it with this one. Great, yeah, I mean, that's basically about it. Um, Maybe if we look closely, we can see some sort of ugly, uh, blocky behavior in here. No, we can't because I actually blurred it. Um, but if I turn the blur down, you can see it. So it's also pretty important to, to blur it or um, set it to a higher resolution, as, as mentioned earlier. Uh, which, why not? Let's try. Let's try setting it to a higher resolution. Um, custom resolution. Let's just go here and set it to 1080 to 1080. And um, yeah, in here. Oh yeah, we now have to change this back to use input. Yeah. Now you can see it's like a way smaller effect. It still looks nice, but it's uh, it um, used to be more earlier. I think also if you give this 1080 and 1080. So yeah, now it's a way smaller effect. And if I crank up the the Luma displays, uh, it's just getting, I think not, no, it still has all, all, all 60 frames, okay, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, now I look like a liar, but uh, believe me, it's 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 quite, and uh, my computer is getting pretty hot right now. So yeah, um, that's about the effect. Maybe also try Mid8 because I mentioned it earlier. And um, negate without having a blur on. Yeah, it's 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 great. I really like it a lot. And um, you can do lots of things with this effect. I I went totally crazy on here. And um, and also other. Pretty interesting thing is uh, saying together more effects, more um, composites. And here, basically, I did a vertical and a horizontal blur and tried to comp it back together. And it looks like a, a really nice sphere kind of effect, sphere shading effect. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's basically any any gradient you can throw at it, it will. Um, transform it into something interesting and um, only remember give it a lots of data so um, if I put it back to 8-bit you can see the it the banding is banding to start and it not looking as as nice as it used to great uh, that's about it throw some noise on it throw some other post-processing effects on it and please send it to me on Instagram. Um, once again, I'm sorry for not posting this regularly recently because it's just been a crazy time. Had a, um, yeah, but thanks for watching and I hope, I hope you have fun, had fun and have fun with them work. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>